Welcome friends. Today we learn about the service discovery pattern. Let's first understand why is it required. So in a microservices environment, you know services scale according to traffic. And then there could be multiple containers for the same application. And each container will have their own IP address. Also whenever a container goes down, a new container is created at its place which will have its own new IP address. So there is a need to register all these services at one centralized place so that the clients can discover and call these services accordingly. So this is where service discovery helps us. In service discovery, we have a discovery server where servers register themselves and the clients find out the IP of these servers from this discovery server. Now there are two types of service discovery, client side discovery and server side discovery. So now in order to understand client side discovery, let's take an example of a set of services. For example, order service, card service and customer service. So now in order for these services to know the address of each other, we need a discovery server, which is our service registry. So now all these three services, order service, card service and customer service have their registry client which register themselves with the discovery server. So now for example, if the order service wants to call the card service, as part of first step it will call the discovery server. After calling the discovery server, it will have the IP address of the card service and then part of step 2, it will be able to actually call the card service after having its address. So this was client side discovery. Its advantages are that no load balancer is required for it. It is simple to implement and it is easy to maintain and update as well. And its limitations are there are two rounds of service call first to the discovery server and then to the actual service which makes it a bit slow. And then there is a discovery server, which is the single point of failure. If it fails, the complete system will go down and it has tight dependency on the application source code as well. The examples of this are Spring Eureka and Ribbon. So now let's talk about server side discovery. We'll again take the same example where we have the order service, the card service and the customer service and we have our discovery server as well and all these services have their registry client which register themselves with the discovery server so now if the order service wants to call the card service we have a server side load balancer in between so the request first goes to the load balancer and then the load balancer queries the discovery server to find out the ip address of the card service and then the request is directed to the card service so this was server side discovery and the difference from client side discovery is that the calling service order service doesn't get to know the ip address of the called service which is a card service whereas in case of client side discovery the order service after the first call knew the address of the card service so the advantage of server side discovery is that it is a single API call, so it gives us better performance and the service discovery takes lesser time as well. And the limitations are that it is dependent upon the load balancer and still the server side responsibility is to update the service side registry at the load balancer. And the examples are Nginx by Netflix, HA proxy, AWS ELB elastic load balancer and the Google load balancer. So friends, I hope you liked our demonstration of the service discovery pattern. And if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share on your social media. And once again, we thank you for watching this video.